how are you guys doing this is gonna be my first video actually showing y'all feed my baby hog noses i try to get them like a few meals um before i actually put them on video because the camera can kind of scare them and i just want them to eat consistently so this right here is my male mai tai which is a visual toffee and sable he's doing really well he has not missed a meal for me since i got him don't really know what i'm gonna use him for in the future but whatever I use them for, they're all the babies are going to carry the Sable and Toffee gene. But yeah, he looks really well. Uh, probably my most unique looking hog nose that I have so far. Can't wait to see when he grows up. Next we have this guy who I hatched out about a month ago now. So this is an Arctic Conda, 100% head albino male. And he is my best expression of an Arctic Conda out of not only this clutch, but the first clutch as well. So he's gonna look really good after his next uh, shed. Really gonna see a lot of the contrast. And I, I knew from the get go, once I saw him come completely out the egg, I was like, yeah, this is definitely an Arctic Conda he's never missed a meal for me definitely one of my best eaters and it's also the largest of my remaining babies from this clutch All right next up is this conda 100 percent head albino he has a really dark background which is pretty cool He's another one that hasn't missed a meal. He's listed on Morph Market if anybody's interested in him. Really cool looking guy, very high expression conda. Very few saddles and the saddles that he does have are very small. Next up, we have my male Conda, 100% head albino, who looks completely different than his brother that I just showed you. He's also listed on Morph Market, and another one that has a super aggressive appetite. As you can see, he got this guy sideways. He almost got my finger. But yeah, he'll be a really good pet, man. I really love that pattern that he has. I don't know, man, it's like, this clutch right here just threw some wacky patterns with my condas. A lot of variety. But he has a nice brown color. Hopefully he can re reproduce that pattern uh, once he gets older, if he's paired uh, with somebody else. But look at him. Hog noses can be so, so goofy looking sometimes. But he had no issues actually finding the head of this mouse and taking it down without a problem. Next, we have his sister. So this is the female version of him. So this is a Conda 100% head albino female. She almost has the same pattern as him. Uh, almost look like twins, but she was a really picky eater. Um, I had to cis feed her pinky heads for three feedings, but now she's got the hang of it. This is her third consecutive mouse in a row. So once she has a few more feedings, I will list her up for sale because she finally figured out what that a mouse is something that she needs to eat so she's doing good now that she even figured it out and has become a really good eater next up we have this female right here she's a normal 100 percent head albino another one that's never missed a meal for me really laid back snake right here she has some nice dark brown saddles she's also listed on morph market currently so if you're interested she is available as of right now like i said she has some really nice dark saddles so i'm pretty curious on how that will change after her next shed and next we have this female right here she's another normal 100 percent head albino and as you can see i got her eating out of my hand so she's a bit flighty but once she realizes that you have a mouse, she'll go right ahead and eat it. So I actually picked her up 
and put her face to the mouse and she latched on. Uh, she's the one that's listed on Morph Market with that crazy belly pattern. She has like a lot of checkering on her belly. And she's a little lighter compared to the last two normals that I showed you in terms of like her saddle color. So she has some nice light brown saddles. But she's another one, never missed a meal. Um, it, it, it just takes a little while sometime to get her to actually notice that it's a mouse. And now we have my Arctic Conda head albino female. She's doing really well. She is slightly a picky eater, but I've gotten her back on to eating. She has those nice symmetrical spots going down her back. Really like the way this girl looks. And that's it for this video. I appreciate y'all for watching. And I now have a Patreon account for those who want to support me even further. Here you will have access to exclusive videos, giveaways, as well as discounts. The link will be in the bottom in the description. And if you purchase Repi links, feel free to use the discount code SHOVELHOGS to receive 5% off of all purchases.